Welcome to this short video, Spasticity Medical Management. Your presenter is Jackie Harris, MS Physiotherapist. The video will cover the medical management of spasticity. So um, I suppose that, that sort of I've talked about most of the kind of physio management side of things. I might now touch on the medical management of Botox, um, sorry, of spasticity. And um, there is a big role to play in medical management because, um, you know, especially if your spasticity is quite severe, then it really is a good idea to have a look into this. So one of the most common medications is baclofen. So oral baclofen that you take. Um, a lot of people with MS do take this. Um, it is important to consider the side effects of baclofen. So it can cause some sleepiness and muscle weakness. Um, for some people, this is a problem. So I definitely have had some clients that say that they tried baclofen, but it did make them too sleepy, so they went off it. Other people, if they're very weak, sometimes it can make them weaker and cause problems with standing and walking and things. So you really do have to weigh up weigh out the benefits versus the side effects and also it's really important that if you are going to take back off and that you time the doses um, to specifically address um, problems so you know it's not necessarily helpful just to take you know just go for sort of um, you know one tablet three times a day kind of thing so for some people that might help if your spasticity is a bit more constant but for a lot of people, spasticity gets worse at certain times throughout the day. So if it's causing you problems sleeping and you're getting a lot of muscle spasms while you're lying in bed, um, taking a bigger dose prior to going to bed is often a good idea. Um, and you know you might not you might need a much smaller dose during the day, um, especially if it does cause you to be a bit sleepy. Or um, you know other people do report waking up with a lot of spasticity and stiffness. And so they might actually have a bigger dose first thing in the morning to kind of get their body moving. So it, again, it depends on the individual. It's a really good idea to talk to your doctor, whoever's prescribing the baclofen to talk about the dosages and timing. And sometimes you sort of have to play around with it to get the right dose and the right timing. But it's important um, to know that you shouldn't just stop it suddenly. So if, if you want, baclofen and you want to kind of stop it you it's better to wean off it slowly because if you stop it suddenly you can get sort of more side effects and things um, another common treatment is Botox injections into a specific muscle um, benefit of this is you don't get the um, sort of the side effects of baclofen you know where you can get weakness and sleepiness so you might just just have spasticity in your calf muscle for example um, or in your hamstring muscle and so if that's the case often Botox injections into those muscles can help relax that muscle and reduce the spasticity. Um, generally if you're going to have if it's effective um, you know it's something that generally you will need to do say every six months because it does wear, wear off after a few months. Some people might have Botox injections and find that it's not really beneficial and they don't want to continue. Other people find that it is beneficial and if that's the case, you know, you'd go on to sort of a, a six monthly um, regime of having Botox injections. Um, diazepam or Valium is a common medication used and again, it depends on the individual and side effects and things. Gabapentin is one that's becoming more common, which can help with sort of the pain and, and spasms and things. Um, there's more and more research kind of about in regard to ca cannabis um, and it's generally in the form of a mouth spray in regard to reducing spasticity in MS, but it's not sort of readily available yet in Australia. Um, there are trials and things being done and it is available in other countries, but it's just something to keep in mind. Um, an intrathecal baclofen pump. Um, this is actually depicted in the picture here on the right hand side. So this is for people that have really severe spasticity spasticity um, kind of all over their body that's really limiting their movement and every day you know it might be difficult to get out of bed and get dressed and move around at all um, and this can often be with people that you know need really high doses of baclofen um, and it 
it's still not enough. Um, what they do is they insert a baclofen pump sort of just under the skin, um, which contains the dose of baclofen that lasts sort of several months. Um, and it goes straight into the spinal column basically. And the benefit of it is that um, you, it gets inserted um, and then the medication just gets delivered each day. You don't have to do anything. Um, because it gets delivered straight into the spinal column, you, you need a much smaller dose to have a good effect. Um, so that can be really beneficial for the people that have needed a higher dose of baclofen. And also you have less systemic side effects because it's kind of going straight into the spinal cord. Um, it can go straight to the muscles and be effective there. It, it's less likely to cause sleepiness and things like that. Um, the intrathecal baclofen pump, it is um, done as a surgery and through a hospital and often there is a bit of a waiting list for it and there's there's certain criteria and things like that. So that tends to be, so it tends to be more for people with um, severe spasticity that's really disabling. So, it's, you know, if, if that's something, you know, it's something that you can speak to your neurologist about. Um, another more sort of, I suppose, less common things are phenol nerve blocks or neurosurgery. So that's where they sort of, um, particular nerves, that might be causing, that might be more hi hyper excitable causing your spasticity, can't they can sort of either do surgery or kind of um, phenol nerve blocks to kind of um, essentially kind of destroy, destroy those nerves so they're not causing that hyper excitability um, in those muscles anymore. But that's sort of a bit less common and that would be um, something that, you know, your doc, your neurologist would sort of talk to you about if, if they thought it was appropriate for you. Um, but yeah, obviously with these different types of medications and the medical management, then, um, you know, you want to consult your GP or neurologist. So, you know, the GPs can do simple stuff like um, prescribing baclofen and things like that. Um, but for anything sort of more um, targeted, your um, neurologist might refer you to a rehab specialist or someone like that. Um, so, for example, for Botox injections. Um, so, it's definitely just a good thing to keep in mind and speak to your doctor about. Or via Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact MS Connect on free call 1800 042 138.